Hello, my name is Mr Mears. I am uh, the Director of Sciences at Fairfield High School and I would just like to uh, run you through the options for GCSE Sciences in years 10 and 11. Um, okay, so the first slide outlines the two courses. So all students in the UK are expected to do what we call Trilogy Combined Sciences. So that's worth two GCSEs. Um, they cover equally the biology, chemistry and physics um, and they are all given equal weightings in the exams. Okay, um, So all, all students at Fairfield study this um, and it gets you two GCSE grades which are based on your performance across all three disciplines, biology, chemistry and physics. The other option um, for those students which really want to push themselves in science is what we call the separate or triple science option. Um, this option basically splits up the three disciplines into three GCSEs. So a biology GCSE, a chemistry GCSE and a physics GCSE. They follow the same exam board, AQA, and a lot of the lessons are identical, but the triple science um, specification as extra lessons to make up that third GCSE and at the end a, a student will come out with three GCSEs one in biology one in chemistry and one in physics uh, the course is outlined on the second slide here um, so basically as you can see the two courses run side by side um, they have the same units but triple science has extra options extra lessons of content added on and um, which adds up to about 93 extra lessons and that makes it so that it's worth that extra GCSE in order to fit those in to years 10 and 11 in the teaching time then students that choose triple science must um, attend a twilight lesson every Wednesday after school so basically on a Wednesday they will have six timetable lessons uh, those are compulsory they are not um, an intervention as such they are they will be taught as normal lessons going through the the course specification and getting them ready for the exams um, the reason we say to students that want to do triple science is that they must be really keen and hard working is frankly because we've got to get through this extra content um, and you know that it, we have to work at a faster pace um, so that that is worth considering it's for students that really love science and that really want to push themselves and challenge their abilities in the science disciplines and really want to get those separate grades in biology chemistry and physics okay uh, the uh, both courses are examined by uh, six GCSE exams. Okay, so you get two exams in biology, two exams in chemistry, and two exams in physics, basically papers one and papers two in each subject. Um, in the combined uh, trilogy course, which leads to two GCSEs, those exams are one hour and 15 minute long. Um, whereas in the triple science, each exam is one hour and 45 minutes long. Um, other than that, they both test the content, which was outlined in the previous slide. And then they also test other um, key areas, essential skills for science, like how to work scientifically, um, practical skills. Um, they do require mathematical skills. So for example, um, in physics, for the combined trilogy course, you must learn off by heart 21 physics equations and know how to apply them in questions in the triple science there are 23 equations to learn and apply okay um, on top of that there are also uh, questions in every exam paper for both courses um, which test uh, the pupils knowledge of the required practicals and their methods and that's worth 15 percent of the grade so um, in year nine as we go through the course, we've already started GCSE. They are already being taught the triple science content. So they, they've got an idea of the level that they need to work at. And we will continue with that in years 10 and 11. 
Um, the only main difference is if they choose to not to do triple science, then they will just have less lessons and will not need to attend the triple twilight lessons on a Wednesday evening. Um, other than that, they do the same. Um, they will have required practical booklets, um, which they will need to uh, complete through the course, and we will supply those um, so that they can build up this, this knowledge of the required practicals, which as I've stated earlier, is worth 15% of the grade. Uh, I would just like to highlight here that um, a competency in maths and English is essential if you are going to achieve the higher grades in all science qualifications, regardless of whether you do the combined science option um, or opt to uh, do the triple sciences. Um, for the higher grades, um, maths is absolutely essential and there is also a lot of written uh, English orientated questions um, where you need to be competent in, in those. So particularly with the triple science, um, if you you know, you will need to be competent in those subjects if you are going to succeed in the triple sciences. And we do expect everybody to, to do the higher papers and to aim for the higher grades if they are doing the triple science. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the extract here is taken straight out of the AQA, the exam board that we follow, um, which just outlines the need for the maths and the English um, in the science exams. Um, either option, whether you do the combined triple so, tri, uh, trilogy science, sorry, or whether you do the separate triple sciences, um, frankly, it does not make any difference to which post 16 um, course you can follow afterwards. So if you want to do A levels in biology, chemistry or physics or any other science based A level or vocational equivalent such as psychology, engineering, applied sciences, um, it, simply does not matter whether you have taken the triple science course or followed the combined science course. Um, as long as you get a grade six or above, that is generally the required standard that most colleges have been asking for the last few years. Um, if you want to study A level in, in a science based subject, they tend to ask for grade six or above in sciences. But where those GCSE grades come from, whether it's triple, a grade six in biology, a grade six in chemistry or grade six in physics, or whether it's a grade six, six in the trilogy combined science, um, it doesn't matter. Um, so, so you can choose whichever and it will not limit your choices at post 16 or your career options in the future. You can still go on to study A level sciences, go on to university and study any um, degree courses and, and, and go wherever you, you like within the sciences. Um, so what I would basically say at this stage is that triple science is for those pupils that frankly love science, who really want to push themselves in science and challenge themselves um, and are competent enough in the maths, the English and the sciences that it will not be a struggle for them. We want them, it will be a challenge that's for sure. We work at a faster pace. Um, we uh, expect you get higher, higher uh, challenging questions and stuff like that. But otherwise, um, you know, it, it's for those that really love science and want to push themselves as far as they can go. And then the options where they go from there is, well, the sky's the limit regardless. So basically to uh, summarise, um, all pupils do Trilogy Combined Science GCSEs, which leads to two GCSE grades. Um, and that would be called Trilogy Combined Science. So no one can opt out of that. Um, should your uh, child like to push themselves and do triple science, then they can tick on the form that they would like to do it. Um, it, it is not like, oh, I'd like to do it and then I oh, will decide not to do it later. It's like, if you really want to do it, then tick it. If you are not sure, then do not. But I would recommend that you speak to your science teacher um, or if you want to obviously contact me via Teams, Teams chat, that is also um, equally possible and I'll happily answer any questions. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing to do is if you do 
pick triple science. We will do everything to encourage, you know, any pupil that really loves science and wants to work solidly um, all the way through to get those GCSEs that are willing to attend the compulsory twilight sessions um, and can show us that they work at, the, at a good pace and at that level, ideally by getting 60% overall average in their test throughout year nine and then we'll give them an extra end of year exam and then we will see what kind of grade we, we do not want to overburden pupils if they can't keep up with the pace but for any pupils that can do that we highly encourage you to take triple science um, to challenge you and really push you in the subject um, but if, uh, if you want to check out the course books they're exactly the same as what you're currently using in year nine and they're all on Caboodle so then you can actually look through the whole book and that basically outlines the whole course and it highlights where it says GCSE only those are the extra triple science lessons that you do um, as I outlined in one of the earlier slides um, but yeah feel free in fact I would highly encourage you to speak to your science teachers um, and ask questions before you make that decision okay and um, thank you and goodbye